What is up guys? It is a cloudy day here in Victoria. I have a little bit of free time on my hands so I thought I'd do a little bit of a build breakdown for you today. I've had this car for about two videos now but I just haven't really gone in depth on it. It's got some little goodies I got when I bought it. Uh, yeah. This is got the nardy wheel on the top as you can see I just picked this up gonna install it came with a little quick release I'm just waiting on the hub to connect to the quick release um, yeah here let's start with the engine bay okay so where do we start we, this is a EJ20 this is this car was imported from Japan in 2014 2013 2014 uh, I removed the AC as you can see freed up a little bit of space I there's no free on in the lines and I had a little bit of a squeal from the idler pulley so I just decided to pull that right out but uh yeah let's say we got the Mishimoto rad in it fucking barely fits can barely get my hand in there um, it's on adjustable coilovers here uh, what else do we got we're running 18 PSI on the turbo. Then we got the aftermarket downpipes heading down to a three inch HKS exhaust. Hence the little HKS sticker. But um, yeah, not much, just a few little performance upgrades. That's how I kind of want to keep this car. Quite a few SUVs here on the island, it's pretty funny. So the interior is stock, pretty much. Not much I'd really want to do to in the interior, but uh, it's got the stock seats. I really like these seats, they hug super nice. Um, this car actually came stock with a Momo wheel. I guess the guy wanted to resell it or whatever. So I got this piece of shit wheel, so I... Uh, I went up to out of town to pick up this nardy wheel. It's got a little quick release on the back. I'm just waiting on the hub to slap it on. But um, that's why I had that footage of that little togue out of town there in Mexico. OEM cluster. OEM uh, boost gauge goes up to 1.3 bar. I'm hitting all 1.3 bars right now. I might be a little over, who fucking knows, but it's good enough for me. Um, I put in a fire extinguisher just for extra safety measures. I'd know there'd be nothing worse than having to watch your car burn in front of your own eyes. Uh, this is pretty funny. These cars actually come stock with a flare in Japan. This is a 1998, so you guys do do not have this in the U United States yet. I think it's like four more years or something like that until you get these, and then I'll be reaping the benefits. Um, yeah, not much. These cars actually do come with uh, IC sprayer, intercooler sprayer, which I find really cool. This car doesn't have it, um, unfortunately, but... It's got the nice matching seats in the back. Yeah, I was really excited with the condition of this. Usually uh, JDM cars here are just beat by the time you can get the, your hands on it if you're buying through a second owner, first owner, whatever it is. But I got this from a second owner with 80,000 kilometers. This is a version four. So it's got the extra few, um, compartments which I find pretty cool these cars are actually really awesome just all the little things like it has the perfect slot for my license plate insurance under it separated from the license plate complete my glove box nice and organized this car weighs in at uh, I think it was 1190 kilograms all I know is it was in pounds, it was 26, 23. So I think that's the conversion for it. So super light car. I've probably ripped out about 120 to 180 pounds of stuff. So 
we're getting down there. It feels like a little go-kart, especially when I'm pus pushing the 18 pounds of boost. It's awesome. I was super excited on this Viper car alarm system I got with it too. Super handy, just save me some time always clicking in my locks and uh, it works from like miles away. This thing's actually insane. I tried to repaint this hood scoop, just sending it with some uh, stuff they had at Canadian Tire, but I couldn't quite get a match. You can probably even see that on camera. The It's just a little bit tan. If anybody knows the paint code for these JDM uh, WRX STI or whatever you want to call it, uh, let me know because I have done a bit of research. People are saying uh, Glacier White, which is what I got, the Subaru OEM Glacier White, and that's how it turned up on this car. And then people say it's Frost White, but then it's under the same paint code, so I'm not exactly sure how to go about it. I know it says it in the doors. It says 230, which is Glacier White, but I guess 230 is Frost White in Japan, so... And if anyone can help me out with that, that'd be great. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, if you have any input on the content you want to see, anything I can do to make my videos better, uh, any sort of input, put that in the comment below. Uh, thank you to all you new subscribers. Thank you to all the likes I've been getting on my recent uploads. Uh, I'm trying to get consistent with this. I'm trying to actually build a base for a solid channel um, that focuses on JDM cars. Uh, yeah, but I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna try and upload weekly. I'm gonna try for Every Sunday evening even though I'm gonna be posting this on uh, Tuesday, but yeah, thanks for the support guys. I'll see you next time Hey, I did my best, I did my brother